here we will see a very simple and interesting question from the topic sequences and series. Here question is find sum of n terms of the series whose nth term is here two questions are given. In first question n term is 3 n square plus n and in second question n term is n into n plus 3. Very simple question, very interesting question. Let us see the solution here. So, first of all let us see first question. Here nth term Tn is given 3n square plus n. Correct? And we have to find sum of n terms of the series. So, therefore, here sum of n terms will be sigma Tn. And sigma Tn means sigma n is Tn is 3n square plus n. So, sigma here 3 n square plus n. Now, this sigma will be distributed over both the terms. So, here sum will be sum will be 3 into sigma n square plus sigma n. Now, the formula for sigma n square, we must remember this formula. Sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 and this is sigma n sum of first n natural numbers that is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, let us put these values here. So, this is 3 into sigma n square means this one means n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 plus second term sigma n sigma n is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, this is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and after simplifying this expression we will get the result. Here 3 will be cancelled out here 3 2 is 6 correct and n into n plus 1 is common n into n plus 1 will be common in both the terms. So, this is equal to n into n plus 1 taking common. So, from the first term remaining part is 2 n plus 1 divided by 2 and here simply half because n into n plus 1 has been taken common. Let us simplify it. So, this is equal to n into n plus 1 into here LCM will be 2 LCM will be 2 and in numerator this will be 2 n plus 1 plus 1. So, this is 2 n plus 2. Okay, and this is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 into here we can take 2 common. So, 2 common n plus 1 divided by 2. Here this 2 will be cancel out. So, we are getting here n into n plus 1 whole square is not it n plus 1 is here n plus 1 is here. So, n plus 1 whole square divided by 2 this is the answer for this first question clear. Now, let us see second part here second part is nth term is given here n into n plus 3. So, T n is let us multiply these two factors this is n square plus 3 n. So, therefore, sum will be sum is equal to sigma of T n. So, sigma will be applied over both the terms sigma n square plus 3 n sigma will be distributed over both the terms. So, this is sigma n square plus 3 sigma into n coefficient is taken outside the sigma notation. Okay. Now, this sum is equal to sigma n square we will put this value n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 and plus 3 sigma n sigma n is n into n plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Let us simplify this sum here n into n plus 1 by 2 is common or you can leave 2 here no problem that will be simplified after taking LCM. So, just we can take n into n plus 1 common. So, n into n plus 1 common we are taking here 
and rest of the parts is 2n plus 1 by 6 2n plus 1 by 6 and from the second term n into n plus 1 is common so 3 by 2 this is equal to 3 by 2 now let us simplify it further so this is equal to n into n plus 1 and here LCM will be 6 and here numerator is 2n plus 1 2n plus 1, 2, 3 is 6. So, 3 will multiply it with this numerator 3, 3 into 3 that is plus 9. So, this is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 10 and in 2n plus 10 you can take 2 common. So, 2 into n plus 5 divided by 6, 2 will be cancelled out, 2, 3 is 6. So, this is n into n plus 1 into n plus 5 divided by 3. This is the answer for this second part question. n into n plus 1, n into n plus 1 into n plus 5 divided by 3. Okay. So, question is very simple, very interesting. Just we have to remember some formula, apply this formula wherever it is required and simplify it, we will get the result very easily. So, thank you very much for watching this video. We will see some more problems in other videos too. Thank you very much.